It started quietly, almost too quietly. Astronomers noticed a faint object drifting across the outer edges of our solar system, a visitor not bound by our sun, its name, 3i Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever detected passing through our neighborhood of space. But this time, something was different. The new high-resolution images, captured by multiple observatories, showed something that no one expected. Its tail wasn't behaving normally. It wasn't stretching away from the sun like every other comet. Instead, the tail seemed to twist, shimmer, and change direction, almost as if something invisible was pulling it or pushing it. Scientists began tracking it more closely. Its trajectory, once thought to be a quick flyby, was now bending, subtly but steadily, toward the sun. But 3i Atlas isn't like our local comets. It came from beyond the solar system, perhaps even from another star's domain. So why was it now being drawn closer, as if the sun had suddenly gained a strange new power over it? And then came the light. Telescopes picked up unexpected flashes near the comet, bursts of energy that lasted only seconds like cosmic heartbeats. Some thought it was outgassing, ice turning into vapor, but the frequency, the rhythm, was unnatural. Every flare came at a perfect interval, almost like a signal. Astronomers stayed quiet. Publicly they called it a repeating outgassing pattern, but off the record, some admitted that 3i Atlas was changing speed, not slowing down, accelerating. As days passed, the comet's color deepened. Its normally bluish hue turned into a darker shade, almost black. That's when one scientist said something that chilled everyone. It's not reflecting light anymore. It's absorbing it. Weeks later, new images showed the comet's nucleus glowing faintly from within. Something inside it was heating up, something unknown. But 3i Atlas wasn't alone, because while this interstellar traveler moved toward the sun, two other comets began to make headlines back on Earth. Comet C, 2025R, 2Swan and Comet Lemon, both recently discovered, appeared to be approaching Earth's orbit. At first, they were dismissed as ordinary icy visitors, but then came the strange coincidences. Both comets, from entirely different origins, were moving in perfect synchronization, mirroring each other's approach as if responding to a single invisible command. Their tails both showed a faint green glow, not uncommon in comets, but this green was different. It pulsed. Astronomers ran spectral analyses, and what they found shocked them. Both Swan and Lemon emitted the same rare chemical signature, a compound never before detected in comets so far from the sun. Even more bizarre, the timing of their chemical outbursts aligned perfectly with the energy pulses coming from 3i Atlas. Coincidence or connection? Suddenly, observatories around the world began comparing data. Three separate objects, three different trajectories, yet somehow their patterns were synchronized, like pieces of a celestial puzzle slowly moving into place. And then came the silence. For two full days, data streams from multiple solar monitoring satellites went offline. When they came back, several frames of telescope footage were missing, especially during the hours when 3i Atlas made its closest solar pass. The only image that leaked from that period showed something no one could explain, a massive, dark silhouette forming just beyond the sun's corona. Not a flare, not a shadow, but something with structure, geometric, artificial looking. The footage vanished within hours. Soon after, Comet Swan began to brighten unnaturally. 
its brightness increased by a factor of 10 in a single night, something that usually takes weeks. Lemon followed, glowing intensely green, visible even to the naked eye under dark skies. At the same time, people around the world began noticing sky anomalies, aurora-like glows in regions far from the poles, faint magnetic disturbances, compass needles twitching without reason. Online theories exploded, interstellar signal, comet alignment, portal near the sun, most were dismissed, but the timing was undeniable. Every spike in the magnetic field matched perfectly with three eye atlases' solar flares and swans' sudden outbursts. It was as if something woke up when the interstellar visitor met our star. NASA's official statement was calm and predictable. Natural cometary behavior. No threat to Earth. But independent astronomers weren't so sure. They noticed something hidden in the orbital data. Both Swan and Lemon were not just approaching Earth. They were converging toward the same orbital point, a place Earth would soon occupy. The date, November 29th, 2025. By then, 3i Atlas will have completed its solar swing and be heading outward again, but not on a normal path. Its new trajectory points directly toward the region where the other two comets are predicted to cross. Three objects, three paths, one intersection in space. Some scientists quietly believe that this isn't random, that something from outside Something hidden in 3i Atlas may have triggered these comets, a resonance, a signal, or a call. And if that's true, the question isn't what 3i Atlas is. The real question is, who or what sent it? Because as the comets draw nearer, the night sky grows more active. Unusual radio frequencies are being picked up. Infrared sensors detect flashes invisible to the human eye, and deep space radar stations report echoes, signals bouncing back from empty space. It's almost like something out there is answering. So, what happens when three, I Atlas, Swan, and Lemon align? No one knows. Some call it coincidence, others a cosmic pattern. But one thing is certain, the solar system hasn't seen this kind of convergence in recorded history. And maybe, just maybe, it's not the comets that are coming closer. Maybe something else is using them as messengers. So, when you look up at the sky in the coming weeks and see a faint green light, remember this moment, because whatever is approaching is no longer just a story, it's already here.